Hi, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Deanna, if you're new here. Um, if not, thank you for coming back again. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, if I'm going to put a little uh, disclaimer here. If you are at all squeamish to uh, anyone doing anything to their planners, um, like spray them or take something apart or anything like that, if that just breaks your heart and gives you anxiety, this is your permission to skip this video. <laughs> uh, I totally understand if you're a purist, um, but if not, then stick around for this. Um, I'll call it an experiment, but it's really not an experiment and, and I'll explain why. Um, but I am going to spray down my new um, VDS Custom Undyed. This is an undyed in the Janet, or the undyed Janet leather, I think is how you say it. Um, but it's undyed custom uh, Franklin Covey size customized. It was a standard 30 that was widened to Franklin Covey compact size. On the outside, the exterior leather is undyed and the interior is the Nubuck, um, I will probably butcher it, Ikum. I'm sorry if that's wrong, but it's this beautiful pebbled, almost a suede feeling leather. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is something that I've done many times with my other leather products. Um, I have not done it with a planner because I haven't had an undyed before, so I didn't feel the need to. Let me, hold on one second, I'm gonna go grab the Jeanette Leather Brown so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so sorry if you hear my little one, he's run through and I, I can't stop him. <laughs> Um, so what I have done before is used a product called, um, it's Apple brand and it's called, you'll hear it called Apple Guard. Um, it's a rain and stain repellent for leather and suede. Um, I have used this in the past to, um, very successfully. Um, one thing that I have done recently, and I will put a clip in if... I can figure out how to do that. Um, but one thing that I used it on recently was my new bag. Um, this is a Louis Vuitton bag. It has a Vachetta um, handle that is essentially, you know, very similar in color. Um, and I sprayed this to protect it from rain and stain, just like the product says. And I've used it before on my bags and small leather goods from them. Um, and it really does a wonderful job at helping just give a little bit of an added layer of protection. Now, I'm not somebody who necessarily gets really upset if there's little marks on my planner. I think it shows character. But um, I thought it would be interesting to see how it wears um, if it's sprayed once I first get it. And um, now this is not brand new. I purchased it from one of my amazing watchers. Hey, Sophie, if you're watching, hey. Um, and I'm so sorry if this, I'm gonna warn you. But um, I, this, based on my experience, it does not do anything to ruin the planner. It does not, it's not going to um, cause an issue. Um, so basically all it's doing is giving a little bit of a protectant to the leather. It absorbs quickly, it dries quickly, and when you first spray it on, it looks scary because it looks like you just sprayed it with water. But what happens is that absorbs very quickly and dries to where you can't even see it. It doesn't change the way that it feels, it doesn't change the texture. It just helps give like a tiny little bit of protection to where sometimes then if a water, you know, water spilled on it, it should bead off and roll off. If water sits on it then for hours or something, it's not going to fully protect it, but it is gonna give a little bit of um, help. And then it all it will not prevent it from patinaing. It will patina over time, but I thought it would be interesting to see. Um, now this is my, I say Jeanette, I don't know why, but Janet Leather Brown um, planner. And 
it came to me this way, pre-loved with all these marks. And like I said, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it gives it character and just a story. It looks like she's been some through some things, right? But I thought it would be really interesting to see how an undyed fares with the apple guard. Does it patina more slowly? Is it more resistant to stains or marks? Um, and so I just thought that it would be helpful because, you know, I have two little kids and I try my best to keep them out of things, but you just never know. And so um, I thought it would also be a wonderful test to see how it does on this um, beautiful leather inside. So basically how I do it normally is, I'm gonna cut this down in a second, but I will protect the hardware, um, just kind of covering and holding it here. And then I will spray across, you know, six inches away, let it dry for a full 30 minutes, repeat on both sides, get all these areas. And then I would just kind of, you know, wipe and make sure that none of the Apple Guard got on the hardware or on this little button. Um, and then let that dry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let that dry and then, you know, fully dry. And then I'll do this side and the same thing. Um, and just try to, you know, just do an even level layer of spray and then I'll just kind of wipe off the button, you know, make sure it's not sitting on there to tarnish it. And um, yeah, and then we'll kind of come back and see tomorrow how it looks once it's fully dried. This is obviously the before, I haven't done anything to it. This is fresh out of the, out of the box from Sophie, but but I thought I would share it with you guys because I know um, some of you may have heard of this before, may have seen it, and if you haven't, um, and watermarks or things like that really do scare you and keep you from using an undyed planner or something that's a raw leather, um, maybe this is something you might um, consider. So I thought that I would share, um, once again, you know, if you do not like to see planners be, you know, spray and keep on moving on um but i think that you know i'm here to share my life share my truths share my experiences the good the bad and the ugly and in this case it's something that i have utilized with my bags for years and seen incredible results um and so those are getting a lot more heavier wear and tear i've put them on um, the handles of my bags i've sprayed the handles of my bags before and it has helped me in situations where I'm caught in, you know, a little bit of a rain that I didn't think I would. You know, I still cover my bag with my shirt, but, you know, you can't always predict every situation, right? So um, this might be helpful information for some of you out there um, who are looking into using this on your leather items. Now, I have sprayed my suede shoes. I have some suede flats, and that has done an incredible job. It looks like let me see if I've got them over here. Yeah. So these are my suede flats. Um, I've had these for about six years, seriously. Um, and you know, they have some creasing and they've got, they've been worn, um, but you're, you're not now it's torn. It's time to replace them. But they are, they've been worn in the rain, in the snow, um, and they're looking great. There's no stains. There's no heavy, heavy, you know, discolorations from anything. Um, they just have, it's, it's helped protect them, I think. So without further ado, let me turn this, stop talking and just show you how I spray. So I follow the instructions. I'll link this below. I get it from Amazon. But it just says, it will keep your leather and suede water repellent and stain resistant. It helps prevent salt stains and can safely be used on all color fast leather and suede. If in doubt of color fastness, check by spraying a hidden area. If color rubs off, it is not color fast and should not be treated. Apple Guard stain, rain and stain repellent minimizes rub off and scuffing of all suede products. Leather or suede to be treated must be dry, clean, free of dust, dirt, and grease. Before going or using on suede, brush the suede thoroughly. Hold the can six to nine inches from the surface and spray with sweeping motions. Include all seams, but do not soak the sprayed area. 
let dry for 30 minutes and repeat, treat periodically. So you can redo this. They say, you know, every six months, every year, it's up to you. Um, the way I kind of see it, it's going to depend on if I think it needs it or not. I've just given this a, sw uh, just a gentle wipe with a dry lint free um, cloth just to help if there was any oils from my hands that I didn't realize were there. Um, but I, I, whoop, I may not actually reapply this. We'll have to just wait and see. Um, but I'm interested to see how it wears. So I will, I'll hold it away. I shake the can really good. And then I'm just going to gently spray. I've got a cloth down and just get my little paper towel ready so that I can come in and kind of go like this to wipe any product away. We are shaking. All right, here we go. Now I've done this many times, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not uh, nervous, but if you are, I get it. And then just a little coating. You can see the color changing. It'll look like a nice honey, kind of a dark patina. Just trying to make sure I get it in all the areas. Here we go, nice and even. Oops. Sorry about all the background noise. And then I'm just gonna kind of wipe here. Get it in there. And now I'm just gonna let this dry. We're gonna let this dry. And I'll do a time lapse and you can already see it starting to kind of lighten back up. That's because it's absorbing. Um, but I'm going to let it kind of lighten and sit for a good 30 minutes before I try to turn it around and do the other side. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, this is fully dry. It's back to its original color, super light. Um, it's been about an hour since I began spraying. So I did 30 minutes on the front, 30 minutes on the back. Um, I had tried to take the little ring protector, put some paper towel on it and kind of fit it over and that did a good job. But then there was some areas down in here that I couldn't spray. And so I just took it off, sprayed it, and then just wiped off the ring mechanism to make sure that there was no spray just left sitting on it. And um, 
if you can see, I mean, it's, it's right back to the original color. And even on the back, it is back to that original color. There's, I wouldn't say that it darkened it at all. Um, I don't see any change in the color at all. So, I mean, to me, this is, again, like it's worth it to just have a tiny little bit of, of insurance. Um, and I really like it. I've used it on my bags before. It's just been nice. I've seen water literally bead off it instead of instantly absorb. Um, and so it's, it's great. If you guys have questions, leave them below. Um, again, if you decide to grab it, I'll put a link in the description. Let me know if you've used it before on your planners and your experiences. I've only used it on bags before. Um, I don't remember if I sprayed a TN. I might have sprayed a traveler's notebook in the past, but it's been a really long time. Um, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Again, you know, everybody's different. So I'm certainly not saying go out, get it and spray everything you own and then get mad at me if it doesn't work out. But I've used it before. It worked out really great. And then this is just, yeah, it's, I'm excited to see how it wears. So um, give it a like if you thought it was interesting and subscribe. And if, if not, then I totally get it. You know, this can be polarizing. Not everybody feels comfortable um, doing anything to their planners. And I get that, but it's worth it to me. I've used it in the past and I've just seen water literally beat up and roll off. So it's worth it. But yeah, I hope you guys like it and I will see you back next week in a regular video. Okay. Bye.